Hello, and welcome to this month's edition of the InDesign newsletter, where I teach you tips and tricks and general things about InDesign. Who am I? I am Andrea Bass-Latin. I'm an Adobe community expert. I'm also a graphic and web design instructor for college. Now that you know who I am, let's get started. All right, so this month in addition, I wanna show you how to create multiple page documents inside of one InDesign document, okay? So typically I could just hit letter since the first page is gonna be letter size, but I like to go here to new file. And what I wanna do is make a couple of changes inside of here. I'm gonna change the units to inches. Um, I'm also going to make sure that facing pages is not checked. You can do this with facing pages checked. I just like to look up it when it's not checked um, for this. For this, All right. I want to make sure that my bleed is set and everything is set. And now I'm going to hit create. Okay. So you will notice that when pages come in, there are they are always attached to a parent page. That is this a parent. Well, in this case, the first one is fine being attached to it, but I don't want the other ones attached to a parent page. So what I need to do is I'm going to click on new and I'm going to go up here to master none. And I just like to drag and drop. So I'm going to drag it. And as soon as I see that white line over the page one where I'm dragging, I'm going to drop it just so that that master page one um, isn't following a parent page. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I want six pages. So I'm going to go ahead and grab six pages, and here we are. Okay, so, so far, too easy, right? So the next thing I want to do is, for one, this is going to be a letter, so that one is good. For the second page, I want this to be, we're going to create a stationary package. And actually, so a stationary package usually just has, like, your letterhead, your business card, and your envelope. This one's also going to have a promo and a postcard. So this will be kind of a extended um, stationary package. All right. So what I'm going to do is on page two, I want this one to be business card wide. So I'm going to choose business. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to choose page two. I'm going to go over here to my um, page tool, which is one, two, three down. Click on that. And it looks like this. And what you're going to notice is all the little handles all over the edges and in the center of that page. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is right here where it says letter, I'm going to click on that drop down and you'll see that we have other options in here. Now, these are some other options that um, you won't see these in yours, but after we do this today, you'll see it. But all right, so um, I'm going to choose to do, you see where it says U.S. business card? I'm going to choose that. And so that is the U.S. business card wide. And I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is go to number three, make sure I'm on number three. And the way that you make sure you're there is you'll see this little uh, highlight over the actual number. Because if if I just click here, I'll think I'm on page two because that highlighted, but I'm not. Okay, I'm on page three. So you want to make sure that the highlight's on the number. All right, so page three, I'm going to choose business card again. So I'm going to that drop down U.S. business card. But this time I'm going to choose orientation portrait for tall. OK, so now I have the business card tall and wide. Now I'm going to click on number four, double click. And what I want to do with this one is letter half. This is going to be for a promo, you know, like for a coupon or um, a grand opening or a discount or something like that. All right, so this is going to be for promo for the business. I'm going to go up to this little um, drop down and I'm going to choose letter half. And if I want the letter half to be tall, that's good. Or if I want to change the orientation, I can as well um, for the letter half. So let's see which way do I want it. I'm going to go with the wide letter half. That's the type of promotion. All right, and then so for number five, hopefully you're seeing how easy this is to do. I'm gonna do a, I don't see the postcard that I'm looking for, so I'm gonna do custom, and I'm gonna do a three by five postcard. So I can say postcard 
three by five. And then, so for this one, I'm gonna make the width five inches and I'm gonna make the height three inches. And I'm gonna, and if I had more to add, like if I were adding uh, several different um, custom sizes, I could just hit add and it would add them. I'm gonna hit okay. And now, so there's my three by five postcard. And the last one that I wanna create is an envelope, a number 10 envelope. So I'm gonna double click on this. And you're gonna see, I already have it in mind, but we're gonna pretend I don't. I'm gonna hit custom and I'm gonna say envelope. And I'm gonna say, sorry, I'm gonna say, uh, 9.5 for width, oops. 9.5 for the width. And then I want the height to be four and one eighth, so 4.125 um, for the height. And actually I'm going to make it, let me see what orientation I want. Um, Let me see. I'm gonna try to change the orientation. Let's see. Let's see how this one looks. Okay, it doesn't look bad. So now I have the setup that I want. If I double click on one, this is for the letterhead. Number two, this is for the business card wide. Three, business card tall. Four is for the um, letter half promo. Five would be for the postcard and six is the envelope. So now all I would do is save this out. And then anytime I needed to create a promo, I would have a promo template um, set up for me uh, to create. This is how you create um, multi-size pages inside of one document in InDesign. So... Isn't that awesome, right? So that's what I wanted to show you today. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about the multi-sized uh, pages um, inside of an InDesign document. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like it. Uh, please comment and please subscribe. Uh, those type of things help the algorithm and it tells YouTube that you like the content. Also, if there's any content that you'd like to know about InDesign, but you're not seeing, let me know in a comment and we will create a video for you. All right. So uh, again, thanks for watching and ta-ta for now. Ta-ta, ta-ta.